Hi, this is Mark from Wikidesign. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add timestamp links to your embedded YouTube videos. Let me show you exactly what we're going to go over in this video tutorial so you can better understand what you're going to learn. As you can see here, I just have an embedded YouTube video here, a few hyperlinks to timestamps and a button here. So I always wanted the ability to go ahead and just be able to click on a hyperlink in HTML and control the playhead within the YouTube uh, player here. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do this. So in this example, I have a hyperlink that will start at zero, another hyperlink that will start at two minutes, 13 seconds. You can see right here, starts right here. Another one at 313 shows right here. And then I just wanted to show that how you can attach a hyperlink to a button and have it control the playhead here as well. I wasn't sure how to pull this off, so I had to go ahead and start looking around on websites like Stack Overflow to get the code I needed. So I'm going to add this link in the description below so you can see exactly how I was able to pull this off. So I went in here, copied this code, and changed a few things here and there. So in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you exactly how I did this using this code right here. Now, before I continue, I just want to give you a warning that this is going to be more of an advanced tutorial. So you're going to need to know the basics of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Let's just jump right into it. So now I'm on the back end of the website, and I'm going to show you exactly how you can pull this off. Now, the great thing about this is you're not tied to just using WordPress or Elementor. You could take this code and add it to any type of website. So a static website, other CMSs, anything along those lines, anywhere that you can have HTML, CSS, and JavaScript on a page, you can pull this off. So in this example, I just have three different widgets here inside of Elementor. To pull this off inside of Elementor or Gutenberg or anything like that, you need to make sure you're using an HTML widget because this is going to hold together all of the JavaScript code because WordPress is a CMS that likes to strip away uh, JavaScript code unless you're using uh, something like an HTML widget. So in this example, I have the main code up here, which is the player and all of this JavaScript code to make it work. Then below there, I just have a simple HTML hyperlinks using list and just regular uh, hrefs here. And I just wanted to show that you can attach uh, this functionality to a button as well down here. So I have another HTML widget. So that's how I have this example laid out, but you can use any sort of layout for this uh, as long as you have these hyperlinks on the same page as this HTML code up here, you'll be good to go. So now let's just jump into the code and how you can add this to your own website. So all of this code is gonna be listed in the description below. The first thing you need to do is change the video ID. And to get the value, what you need to do is just go to your video and right up here in the URL, you're gonna see this is the ID. You could also go down here where it says share and you can grab the ID right here. So just copy that and paste this into your video ID right here. The next thing you need to do is figure out where you want your timestamps to be and then what we need to do is grab the value from YouTube and input it right here into this JavaScript array. So in this example, I have timestamps at 0 seconds, 2 minutes, 13 seconds, 3 minutes, 13 seconds. So obviously, the very first one is easy. Uh, it's just 0. And as you can see right here, 0 and 0. The next thing we need to do is figure out what the timestamp code is for 2 minutes, 13 seconds. So let's jump over to our video, go to two minutes, 13 seconds, and it should be right around here. So right here. So what, all you have to do to get this value is go to where you want the video to jump, right click, and if you see this right here, it's called copy video URL at current time. So this is the way I like to do it. You just paste it back in here, and as you can see, the playhead at 2 minutes 13 seconds is 133 seconds. A little confusing, but you just need to know that this is what controls the playhead is seconds, not minutes plus the seconds. Um, that's just how this works in JavaScript. So as you can see right here, you just do 0, comma, space, 133. And then right here, comma. Now we need to figure out what is 3 minutes and 13 seconds. Go over to 3 minutes, 13 seconds. Same thing, you right click, copy video URL right here, equals 193 seconds. 
So just copy that right here. So now you have your three values in your JavaScript array. This is where all the magic is happening. If you don't add these values in here correctly, um, none of this is gonna work. So now I'm gonna show you how to apply the JavaScript that we just added to these hyperlinks. And I already have an example here, and I'm gonna highlight this first code right here. So this is your href right here. And the only thing you need to change is right here where it says on click set current time, it's to the array of zero. So if you go down here, you're gonna see the next current time is one, the next current time is two. So to make sense of this, I'm gonna go back into the JavaScript here, and this is the equivalent of your array at zero. This right here is one, this right here is two. So if I added a comma and another value, that would be three, then the comma, another value that'll be four. So if you have timestamps that are 10 deep, you're gonna have the 10 different values in here. So now let's go back to the hyperlink, make sure that you understand how this works. So set current time is one, set current time is two. And that's it, that's how you pull off these hyperlinks. So when you click here, it's going to play at the exact moment where we assigned it right here. So as you can see within the Elementor widget, you can actually test this. So it jumps to 313, jumps to 213 and goes back to zero. And to pull this off with a button, it's very similar. So let me go into this HTML widget. And instead of a regular href, you have just a normal HTML input code right here. So input type equals button. The value is this right here, one minute challenge. And then on here, on click, set current time one. So with that one setting here, that is equivalent to right here the 133. So if I wanted to change this to a two, this will go to the timestamp of 313. So let me just make sure that works. And as you can see, it works right here. Just jump to 313, 213, and the 313. Now let's save this page and view it in the front end of the website, make sure everything works correctly. I'll hit refresh here. And so this playhead should go to zero. 213, 313, and this should go to the 313 as well. Yeah, it looks like everything is working correctly. So you may have noticed I have a div here called responsive container. Um, in this case, I have some custom CSS that will force the player to be responsive and in a 16 by nine aspect ratio. And I'll add that CSS code in the description below as well. So you may need to add this uh, CSS code to make your video uh, responsive correctly. So you may not need this code, but I'll just add it anyways in case you don't have a responsive container. I hope this video was helpful on how to add timestamp links to your embedded YouTube videos. If this video has helped you out, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this YouTube channel for more videos like this, and hit that bell to receive notifications when I release new videos like this. Thanks again, this is Mark from Wiki Design.